Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Valley Midnight. I am your host, Nick. I'd like to wish you all a happy Halloween. I hope you all had a great holiday yesterday. I hope you all managed to eat what you wanted to eat. I know I ate some Frito Pie and some beautiful chili cheese dogs myself that I actually really wanted and have been craving for some strange reason for the past week. And now, on to the story. This story is going to be another one pretty much narrated from my brother's point of view. As usual, my brother always seems to be getting the better half of this type of situations than I have. And I hope you really do enjoy this story. This story is one of those fall stories. I did manage to put a lot of detail into this, so I hope you don't mind it. It is quite lengthy. I did have to manage to put in quite a bit of a description in order to give this story more of an... A little bit more of an entertainment side to it is... Well, with my brother, it wasn't really that much detail into it, but... I had to compromise in order to make some real changes. So I hope you all enjoy and sit back, grab your drink, and put your legs up. This is Valley Midnight. The Old Man It was a beautiful fall day here in the rural Gandhi Valley. The wind gently blows in from the northeast, giving a cool yet mesmerizing feeling. Many memories come to mind from childhood to the most recent. Days spent in school, days of my grandparents, days with family and friends. At times a merely calling feeling, but not the kind as to warrant regret, no. The kind of feeling you get when you remember some of the most happiest, or in this case, scariest moments. My brother once told me of a day just like today. He was at a friend's house here in Mercedes, Texas. They were laughing and talking while using the grill. Time passed and sunset came as it would any other day. My brother's friend and he sat on the porch still talking when they noticed something quite odd. An old man, you see, came out of this house across the street. Normally this wouldn't be a problem, of course, but... The house he just came out of was supposed to be empty. No one should be living inside the house, for at the time the previous tenants had just recently left up north. Yet for some reason, this old man clearly came out from inside. Again, as odd as this was even, this should be normal. At least, that's how it looked like at first. For you see, the old man had an eerie feeling to him, and not just from the way he looked, no. Although, the description I was told from my brother was enough to send shivers down my spine that I can't even begin to describe what I once heard. What I can tell you is in which the manner this old man had once stared at my brother's friend and he. It was cold and expressionless, as though life was being drifted away. Slowly he walked towards the porch, never breaking eye contact, even as he crossed the street. Hazy was the feeling at this point. The old man's presence zoned in and out, in almost a dream-like state. My brother looked at his friend, and he right back, as if to confirm what they were seeing was real. This old man was clearly looking at them with fierce intent, but for what reason? He continued slowly forward, not minding on the oncoming vehicles that were amazingly passing right by him. Even as he walked right into the middle of traffic, he still missed each vehicle by a second or two. Nobody moved to avoid him. Not one car ever slowed down. Yet there the old man was staring, his eyes black as night. What could he want, my brother thought to himself, but couldn't bring the boards out. The old man was too terrifying a presence now that he was closing in on the front gate. But just as they were about to ask who this old man was, he suddenly vanishes. My brother and his friend couldn't believe their eyes. One moment, he was at the front gate, and the next... As the gate was being opened, he disappears. Who was he? And what did they just witness before their very eyes?